Speedy Chop presentation of Dig It Underground Inc. brought to you by OTCShowcase.com. Dig It is a pink sheet listed stock trading or ticker DIGX. I scaled this into a six month chart. It's about how long the stock's been trading. I see right off momentum's coming cranking into this play. Closed up 40% today. 2.8 million shares traded. That's quite a surge in volume. Stock gapped right up to test the 50 day moving average, facing some resistance at 4 cents. But what I like to see about this, while well, this price per share is trending down, Smack these on a solid upward trend. Now, a key point for any chart is to break through zero. That's why it's often referenced as the money line, because it's very bullish if the MACD makes that cross. But generally speaking, when looking for bottoms, I want to see that price per share trending down and that MACD in a nice uptrend like that. PPO has a little bit of a different look. It is trending upward and starting to make its way towards zero. And with the buying pressure that came in today in the rise in the share price, money flow index just skyrocketed back upward, broke back through 80. Accumulation distribution, that'll break down quite frequently when there's an upper shadow. You can see because the stock didn't close near its highs of the day, that tells some selling pressure came in, and that's why the accumulation dropped off. That's also reflected in the shake in money flow. What I'd be looking for there is something like that to happen. I'd want to see some upward movement, make an upward trend, hold a higher low at this point. CCI, by definition, the buy point is the breakthrough 100, and it'll be a hold until the CCI breaks back down through 100. Full stows on an upward path, breaking through 50, show momentum's coming into the play, and the tricks, you can see also making an upward movement. As I mentioned, the RSIs made a sharp move, but the stock has had two pretty decent buying days, coming off a bottom down here at 0.17, making a little bit of a higher low at 0.18, closing up that day, and following that up with a much stronger move today. That's got the RSIs moving pretty quickly. Momentum traders like to see that right there. The RSI over top of 70. Some people reference it as being overbought. Momentum traders call it being in the power zone. What I often pay attention to is it's 14 and 21. They're smoothed out. They take out a little bit of the volatility in the play. I want to see them uptrending, and I want to see them holding over top of 50 to show that momentum is staying in the play. Now, from a support and resistance standpoint, there certainly is a bottom support at a penny and a half. But I like the support right there at 0.17 a little bit more. Several days it held that level since coming off the bottom. And that would be the very bottom area I'd want to see hold. There is some additional support that comes in right there at 2 cents. Stock also still has a gap to fill back up here to 2.5 cents. So in the near term, if this did pull back and filled that gap, I really wouldn't want to see it dip much lower than that. And there also is some secondary support there at 3 cents. But these two points are much more important to me. On the resistance side of things... 50-day moving average always serves as a dynamic source of resistance, and DIGX did not close above that today. Key point in an overall reversal in a chart is I want to see the PPS climb over top of that 50, hold over top of it, let the shorter-term moving averages get tucked in underneath it, help add some support as the 50-day curls, and puts itself into an uptrend, which is a much stronger position for the chart. From a static resistance standpoint, that area that it bumped on today, just over top of $0.04, cents, that's probably about 4.3 not zoomed in close enough to get an accurate read on that. But that most recent high actually ties in with a little bit of static resistance. So I consider that the first resistance point it's going to meet from a static level. Beyond that, it is pretty sporadic. There's a little bit of secondary mixed in here and there. But I don't see it really starting to pick up until near six cents. Now from where that closed today, that's obviously still a huge move. But because the stock has been pretty thinly traded, it has shown that it can make very large moves either direction on any given day. If it does hold above these support levels, wants to make a run, hits that. The thing that I always look for in the long term is a consolidation, draw back upon these resistance points that should now be support, hold a higher low, and then try and continue the uptrend. But because of that volume surge, it's one to watch on the next day and see how it performs from there. As always, it's merely my interpretation of the DIGX chart. I'm not a financial consultant. Strongly encourage you to do your own property due diligence. Consult with a qualified financial advisor before making any investment decisions. Past performance is not a guarantee of future results. Please visit the otcshowcase.com website to be the full disclaimer disclosure and do not base any investment decisions upon any material found on the website and or video chart. No person employed by OTC Showcase is a registered investment advisor or licensed broker dealer. Thank you for watching and trade smart.